Hello everybody, Dan here again with Joseph Filming. Uh, we're going to do a little short video here today about uh, how uh, hopefully to get your hives through the winter. We're here located in New England and it's been a particularly bad winter. This is uh, March 15th. This is Saturday, March 15th and you can see how much snow cover we still have. It's a very unusual, been kind of a brutal winter here. Uh, I think that last I heard the days of uh, winter We've had 39 that have not made it above freezing. 39 days of winter. Tomorrow will probably be the 40th because tomorrow is supposed to only hit 30. So it's been a particularly brutal winter. So Joseph and I, we uh, put our heads together to try to figure out what we could do to try to get our bees through this winter. We've been unsuccessful in the past and even uh, with mild winters unsuccessful. So we uh, kind of went to an extreme measure this year to test it out. Uh, first time uh, we've done something like this and we figured we'd share that with you. Uh, our hives here are behind me. As you can see, first base uh, is they're wrapped in a insulation. This is about a three-quarter, half inch or three-quarter insulation that you could buy at uh, your local hardware store. Comes in like a plywood sheet of uh, eight foot by four foot. Uh, it's two-sided. You have this blue on the outside, basically like a styrofoam. And then on the inside is a reflective uh, silver lining. So what we wanted to do was uh, certainly to protect our hive from the wind. Wind is a big enemy to the bees in the winter time. Uh, and see, you can see the, where it's placed is in front of this big blue spruce. That provides some wind protection. But in addition to this tough winter, we went and, uh, and wrapped our hive in, uh, in this type of insulation. It's just held together with a bungee cord. You can see these bungee cords here. They just simply come apart like that. And we'll show you what else we did, which is a bit different, uh, on the inside of this insulation. So as the insulation comes down, you can see the reflective side on the inside, the silver. And then you see around our hive is a bunch of wires. This year what we tried to do was, we went again to the hardware store and we got some uh, pipe wire uh, that normally is wrapped around a pipe. And that's to keep the pipes from freezing. So we thought maybe we could do something with our beehive in a similar fashion. Uh, this is a low wattage uh, wire. Uh, it does obviously requires electricity. So you'd have to be able to send an, uh, an extension cord all the way back to your hives if they're within reach. We had to buy multiple extension cords. You can see how far the house is and the outlets are. But uh, with that initial investment of making extension cords out here, we were able to plug this in. Again, it's low wattage. It's about 7 watts per foot. This is a 12-foot wire. Uh, we placed that on the hive and we just tacked it in with these type of uh, staples, like a heavy-duty type of a staple. Didn't penetrate the wall of the hive, just enough to kind of uh, tack it up against the hive. And it, there, the wire's nice. Again, it's low wattage. It's just warm to the touch. We didn't want to actually heat up the hive, uh, just to provide that little extra... Um, uh, energy source so that the bees didn't have to work as hard to get through the winter. Uh, normally I don't have two of the shallows on the top here but again a reason why these bees may make it through the winter is not because I've heated it up and provided the insulation but by the sheer fact that I've left so much honey for them to be able to survive the winter on. Uh, so you know feel free to uh, adapt this or try this in, in your own uh, beehives. Uh, there is, you know, when you wrap a hive like this, another danger is you're preventing ventilation inside the hive. And bees need that ventilation uh, because of their, their heat generation inside. Water vapor is also generated and moisture can become a huge problem on the inside of a hive and can limit their ability to survive through the winter. So you need ventilation. Um, we didn't wrap this so tight as like a normal, sometimes you see a, a black tar paper wrap or a cardboard sleeve. As you saw when this thing was bungee cord around, there were still some spaces in there to allow the hive to breathe, yet still maintain some of that heat in towards the hive. But also what we've done for ventilation purposes is we went and cut one inch holes in the, uh, in the actual shallows and in the deeps, and we put a soffit, a little soffit uh, vent in its place. I'll get here behind the hive and let Joseph take a picture here of the, uh, of the vents. These are like little soffit vents. They pop out and in the spring you could pop a new one back in. They do tend to propolize it and fill it up. 
like the neat bees do with the, with all the the nooks and crannies, but um, this provides some ventilation here for the bees in the winter and allows some of that water vapor to to escape. There's also some thoughts about using a moisture board on the top of the hive. We've gone and put a moisture board there as well, just for extra security and protection against the moisture. I don't want to lift the cover off today. It's still kind of cold out, but inside there is also a moisture board. So we've, we've gone through a couple of, uh, couple of things to help our hive get through. Uh, this is unique, I think. It's certainly different. Again, feel free to try. Uh, on the bottom there is obviously the entrance reducer followed by a mouse guard. Uh, the mouse would want to make a nice little home in the bottom there, so uh, up here in the northeast we have to take uh, that precaution as well to kind of keep the mice out. So our first year doing this. Uh, hopefully uh, it uh, bears fruit. There was one warm day where Joseph and I were able to get into the hives about 10 days ago, and the bees were alive. So, so far I have two hives, and both have been able to make it through using this method. Um, you don't want to interfere too much with Mother Nature, uh, but at the same time, I think it's a good idea to, to help the bees out where we can. Uh, and this, this may actually prove to, to be of value for, for, for those out there. So uh, thanks again, and uh, take care, and look forward to our next video.